Virtually all of us have had acne at some point in time, but not all of us have seen a doctor about it. You might have had some questions you've always wanted to ask a doctor about your acne. Well now you can. I'm a doctor and I've dug up a list of the most common acne questions and I'm going to be answering them in this video. Acne is due to a combination of things. It's due to your skin producing extra oils or sebum, mixing up with excess of dead skin cells and the bacteria that normally lives on your skin. When these three things combine, that's when you get whiteheads, blackheads, cysts and other types of acne. We're not exactly sure of all the things that are causing acne, but we know that there's a strong genetic influence. Also, at times of life where you go through hormone changes and the most common period is in your teenage years going through puberty, we tend to see a rise in acne. This is because during that time, the key hormone called testosterone goes up and it's testosterone that causes your skin to produce more oil. And the more oils that your skin produces, the higher the chance of it mixing with dead skin cells and bacteria to cause blocked pores. This is not to say that acne is only something that teenagers suffer with. It can happen to people who are in their 30s, 40s, even beyond. And this is more likely because of hormonal reasons. If the cause of your acne is just to do with the teenage hormones, we usually find that over a period of five to six years, the hormones settle and the acne gradually improves. However, if the cause of your acne is due to adult acne, this can be more of a long-term problem. Many over-the-counter products have similar ingredients to prescription products and they do work very well, especially if your acne is quite mild. The usual ingredients that you find in these products tend to be benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, retinols, and other specific ingredients, and they have been proven to work well for skin. The main difference between these drugstore products and prescription is to do with the strength. They're usually weaker in strength and less likely to irritate the skin or cause side effects than the ones available on prescription. So if you have mild acne and just tend to have issues around your T-zone or a few areas, you may well want to try the drugstore products. However, if your acne is more severe than that or you've tried these products already and they've not worked, I would speak to your doctor. What I would advise is to follow the instructions on the leaflet or that come with the product. In most cases, you don't need to be that specific and you can just apply it to the areas that have acne. So like your T-zone or your chin or your back rather than to the spots individually. Don't be afraid to speak to your doctor about your acne. Acne is not a trivial thing and it can have some long lasting effects. So I would rather you speak to your doctor earlier on rather than feel embarrassed to go and have a chat to them. That's what we're here for. If you've already tried numerous drugstore products and you've not found them helpful, and your acne is quite severe, covering lots of areas on your face, neck, chest, and back, or you feel embarrassed about it, that is a good enough reason to speak to a doctor. It's at this stage that you might need stronger acne treatments. And many of these are only available as a prescription from your doctor. These can include stronger creams, oral antibiotics, the birth control pill, and Roaccutane tablets. This is not very clear, and your guess is as good as mine at this stage, to be honest. There is some research out there that shows that certain food groups, like dairy products, may worsen acne. What I would suggest to do, if you're worried that your diet may be a factor, is to maybe try an elimination diet. So in this case, if you're worried that it's dairy, then maybe just eliminate dairy products from your diet. Keep everything else the same, including your skincare products, and just keep a note of how your skin is doing. Then what's important is to go back to eating dairy and do this for another couple of weeks. Keep further notes and see if your skin 
gets worse again with you introducing dairy back into your diet. And it's this that helps to determine whether dairy may be a factor in your specific case. If that's the case, then you may wish to switch dairy products and just keep that at a minimum. This is not a one size fits all, and it doesn't automatically mean that the cause of your acne is because you're eating dairy. However, if you're worried about it and you're considering it, then it may be worth a try. There's not been any evidence that sunlight makes acne better. In fact, it might make your situation worse, especially if you have skin of color. And that's because one of the main issues for us is darkening or what's called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And we know that the sun's UV rays can make that worse. There is a myth flowing around that wearing makeup is what causes acne and that's not true. So I'm not here to stop you from wearing makeup if that's what you want to do. You will need to be more choosy and selective about the type of makeup that you wear and paying attention to the formulation. Try and choose products that are labeled as non-comedogenic. They've been formulated not to block your pores. Your skincare routine should also be tip top. Don't be too harsh with scrubbing your skin and use lukewarm water. Always, always, always remove your makeup at the end of the day. Do not sleep in your makeup. Not everyone that has acne needs to see a dermatologist, but if your acne is severe or you're at risk of developing scarring from acne, then it would be a good idea. This is because you may need more advanced treatments such as Roaccutane, and this can only be prescribed by a dermatologist. Yes, acne scarring can be treated, but the key is that prevention is better than treatment. And that's why it's important to see a doctor early and to be referred to see a dermatologist if that's what's needed. Most treatments for acne scarring tend to be offered privately. There are many things, however, that can be done. Things like dermabrasion, microneedling, skin peels, to more advanced treatments like dermal fillers, microneedling, and even laser resurfacing treatment. I don't recommend a lot of the natural treatments for acne, simply because they don't really work, and they can cause damage and irritation to your skin. There are some ingredients that do have some anti-inflammatory properties, and these are tea tree oil, witch hazel, aloe vera and green tea. In my opinion, I wouldn't really advise these and I don't really see the reason for it, especially when we have so many products that have been formulated, have been tested and depending what level your acne is, whether it's mild or more severe, there is something that can help you. So I would focus more on those treatments and speaking to your doctor about what they can do to help you. Let me know if you guys have any more acne questions and drop them in the comments below. If you've liked this video, then give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing and I will see you next time.